Welcome to Christina Reads All Day. If you're listening on the podcast, if you are here on YouTube, thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Christina All Day. Today I'm going to talk about buy yourself the fucking lilies. To not offend anybody, I'll just call this book buy yourself the effing lilies, but if you're offended by the F word, you're probably not listening or watching this channel. This book is a self-help book. It was chosen by a blogger friend of mine who is in a local book club that she told me about that I joined. And to be honest, I was a little like, oh, another self-help book because they're all the same to me. However, this one was on my list of books to read for a couple of reasons. One, it has the F word in the title, so I thought I would like it a little bit better. Not because I like the F word, but because in self-help books, I feel like they're all the same in the sense that they're very motivational and they're very soft and they're very deep. And I am just not that person. I'm not a person who, I don't know how to say, goes really deep into my feelings. I'm very much more an it is what it is. If you don't like it, change it. Matter of fact type of person. So I thought Buy Yourself the Effing Lilies was like a self-help book for me. In the book, the author, her name's Tara Schuster, she basically talks about her childhood where she had a mom who she didn't say she was mentally ill, but based on a lot of the stories she told, she appears to have some mental illness. Her dad also was just kind of like checked out during her childhood. Her and her sister separated when their parents divorced. Tara goes on to have different kind of substance abuse problems, just super unmotivated in life. And then she started slowly changing her life by journaling, by exercising, by practicing different things in her life. And she slowly started to get to a place where she was happy. At one point, she was unhappy, she was miserable, hated everything, and now she is happy. She lives life to the fullest. She's excited about it all. And something else that I liked about this book that I didn't see in a lot of other self-help books was the lessons through storytelling. So you got to actually hear things that happened to her in her life. So it was like reading or listening to, I listened to this book, I didn't read it. It was like reading or listening to a fiction book where you're hearing stories and you're hearing the reason behind her thinking and what she did to change things. So I found it to be a little bit more exciting and you want to keep on reading it. I will say the first half is better than the second half. The second half, at some point, I thought maybe we're just including stories here to make the book longer, but it was good. It was a good self-help book if you don't like self-help books, if that makes sense. I have started reading a little bit more fiction than nonfiction, just because after years of reading nonfiction, whether they be self-help books, personal development, business books, they're all kind of the same thing. There's nothing really different unless it is super niched in a certain area. So I've pushed back on the nonfiction, unless it's like a memoir, like I read and reviewed The Meaning of Mariah Carey, and right now I'm listening to Becoming by Michelle Obama. So this one, it's a little different just because, again, she is very blunt. She is very matter of a fact. She doesn't take a soft approach, like she's worried about hurting your feelings while you're reading or listening. I like that. I like that approach. So I did like this self-help book, and I give this book, I debate. I debate between three and four stars. If we're judging off the first half, I would say four. The second half, I'd give it three. I hate math. I try not to make things complicated by doing three and a half out of four stars. So I'm going to give it four stars. I'll give this book four out of five stars. It's called Buy Yourself the F***ing Lilies by Tara Schuster. And honestly, it made me want to go out and buy lilies. The, the, let me explain the title. She talks about her relationship with money a little bit and how she was shopping one day, put lilies in her cart because she wanted them. And then she was like, what a stupid thing to spend money on. I'm going to put these back. And then she, you know, the moral of the story is 
if you are going to purchase something that actually brings joy to your life and makes you happy, then buy it. Stop nickeling and diming. Like if this thing is going to make you happy, then just buy it. So that one little story, probably 20 minutes in the seven hour book I listened to was um, where the title was pulled. Pretty interesting, I like it. Again, the F word drew me in just because I knew it wasn't gonna be a soft, deep, meditative book so i liked it it was a good one four out of five stars if you haven't already you know what time it is it's time to tap that subscribe button if you're here on youtube if you are on the podcast thank you for listening tap that subscribe button tell your friends tell your friends about the podcast and the youtube channel so you can keep up with me and what I'm reading. In 2020, I read over 60 books. I hope to do something similar in 2021. I'm in a couple of different book clubs and I'm always getting amazing recommendations. My Goodreads to be read list is over 100. So fingers crossed I can get to some of those, most of those this year. And of course, I'm going to be adding to them as well. So I do want to answer a question that some people ask me. They ask me, how do you read so much? Well, I usually read at night. I try to read at least an hour at night before going to bed. And I'm also trying to walk more. And when I walk, I listen to audiobooks. So I have a subscription to Audible. And you don't have to have a subscription to Audible. A lot of libraries will let you rent their audiobooks as well. I get a lot of my books at the library. I did buy books for a long, long time. For years I bought books because I wanted built-in bookshelves in my house. Now that I have that, I started going to the library. But I did just buy a book cart on Amazon. I gifted that to myself for Christmas. So now I'm gonna have to buy more books. And I did tell my husband that for my birthday, I want a subscription to Book of the Month so I can get a book every month. So I'll also be re reviewing those here on the YouTube channel and on the podcast. Thank you so much for listening to my review of By Yourself, The Effing Lilies. I will see you next time for my next book review.